Based on the longevity of how long I've known you, and the fact that I'm slightly flattered by this. But next time we start doing this, okay? Hopefully it will be soon. I'm going to be obnoxious. Come on, that's graphic, right? <laughs> like, tons of things going on all at once. His life is like that. The paintings are like that. I'm a minimalist junk collector. Have you seen how much stuff I have? If I had a choice between having all this stuff and living out of a suitcase, I'd live out of a suitcase. I have creative drive. It, I have an imagination that I cannot turn off ever. And I have to keep my hands busy. I get to just make things that are kind of obnoxious and are layered and textural and I can store them any place I want because I have barns. And so then I, next thing I know, I have to grow up from having barns to having a house, which I fill. To which point I buy an entire church on the west side and start filling it with art to the point of where it took me literally two semi-trucks to move out of here. Two semi-trucks. And now all my stuff is kind of getting confined into here. And every once in a while when people paint on my unfinished shit that I never sell, I come back in and I'm like, oh. You're younger than I am, you're doing a better thing than I am, and I'm gonna go back to work. I have a lot more responsibilities. I got a family to raise, you know? I mean, there's certain pieces that I've just given away just because I'm like, hey, I just don't want to have this anymore. Having traveled to a lot of different places and having a passion for a certain amount of typography and having a hands-on work, there's things that just inspire me from a lot of different things that I do. So if I'm inspired by, say, being a mason, um, I'll intentionally kind of put my artwork away in order to be able to do something different and then take that exact same aspect back into the next painting, drawing, what have you. Is there any part of your life that if you could change, you would like this aspect, if I could just lop it off and then switch it around? Yes, I would not be an artist anymore. Even though you love art, you wouldn't want to be an artist anymore? It would be simpler sometimes if I could just uh, enjoy conversations where other people enjoy conversations, um, not be distracted by texture, not kind of get lost for hours on an end in doing a drawing and then forget that I was supposed to be going to work right about now, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, this, this is definitely gonna cost me in a couple hours and I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm tired. I have to be in Iowa at 7 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, being an artist kind of, you know, it's a burden. A burden I enjoy. Throwing books, on the other hand. <laughs> that, that is a good hobby. I think more people should throw books at each other. <laughs> the Church of Think um was the second uh churches think has been growing for a while i dislike other people who would scribble all over somebody else's thing because come on they didn't work for it they didn't earn it so yeah so i bought my own stuff to be able to scribble on and um that's where the church of think wound up just more and more and more and I get kind of addicted to my own art and my own doodling and I just needed to have a bigger place to do it. We tried to have our own non-for-profit and that's why we like graffitizone.org because they actually do a good job of making an after-school program 
to let kids go. I think kids have to be able to express themselves. You know? And why not have kids be able to express themselves on something that's going to be a direction? There's going to be positive aspects. There's going to be negative aspects to it. But it's like Johnny Cash said, fuck them if they can't take a joke. You know, people are going to make art whether there's funding for it or not. His art is so... I can't replicate his art. It's really hard for anyone to replicate it. And I don't know, it's just one of the things that I really respond to in his art is that just like, there's lots of life in it. And it's one of the things that, one of the reasons why I married him. I attempted to quit being an artist and my wife just says, no, you, you can't do that. You have to keep going. You like it, it's good for you, it's good for the kids, it's good for us. So, you know, we'll just do it. Because I, 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 I don't necessarily want to train my children to be artists as much as I want them to um, be able to enjoy culture. Everybody has blocks. That's one of the reasons why it's nice to collaborate with other people. Get you over your blocks. I'll have days where I don't, you know, want to make anything. You know, be it work, be it, um, you know, drawing, painting, anything along those lines. I'm just kind of stuck. After being a mason for a bit, right? I was doing dots on there. Now, part of the dots is because that's what mason mix is essentially made with. So I mean that's that's influential in my work. That's what why I make circles for Caxton to fill in the dots. Made? <laughs> I, wasn't actually I made a, a big, like, big oh, no, I see dot. I big dot. A big, big painting dot. Big, big painting dot. You like that? I do like that painting dot that you drawed. It's a good painting did, dot that you drawed. Did, did I paint it? I mean, I like it. I like it very much, Diedrich. Good job.